Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. In the last episode we went and did more missions for the Mages Guild. In fact, we are almost finished. In fact, we only got one more left. So, or I mean technically we have the former student quests line to do, but as far as, you know, missions or quests that won't anger another guild, we technically have one, which is Banished Daedra. So let's do that. Uh, it is great irony that summoning a Daedra is a relatively simple matter, but banishing them, not so. You wouldn't happen to have the power to cast the standard uh, circuit spe uh, spell, Banish Daedra, would you? I mean, I don't on me, but I can. Um, so, not at the moment. Ah, uh, well, okay. So, I'm going to, let's go quickly. I believe I can probably just buy it from you. Banish Daedra. Oh my god, that's expensive. Do, 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 do. Um... Hmm. Dispel Daedra. Maybe, okay, maybe is Dispel not maybe what I want? Let me think. Levitate, light, lock, open, magic, paralyze, scour, shadow. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go buy this Spanish Daedra. Okay. Okay. It'll be 1260 gold. Okay. It is Dispel Daedra. Okay, oh well. Do I even have the ability to cast that? I don't even have the ability to even begin to cast that. Hmm. Okay, well. Then we're gonna just delete Dispel Daedra. And we're gonna go make our own. Spell Daedra. Granted, I now only have 600 gold, which is not fantastic, but what you're gonna do? Dis I might need to go to a bank and take out a little tiny uh, amount of stuff. So it's a 9 uh, plus 1 per each level, so that's a 100% for me to, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And then it's going to cost 1,260 gold. Yeah, okay, so I got to go. I will be back after <laughs> I go and... Oh, that guy scared me. I forgot that we had killed him earlier. So I'll be back after we make a quick run to the bank. Be able to buy the spell. And then we're going to do the Banished Age request. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, I went and I have uh, got the Banished Age uh, spell. So let's go ahead and now do the quest. Uh, I don't know if you can assist me at all uh, fast enough. I'm looking for a mag mage powerful to cast this uh, spell, Banish Daedra, with little chance of failure. Can you? I absolutely can. I sincerely hope you're not lying about this. I don't want this particular Daedra slain, for I may need its services later. But it's a vexatious presence right now. And don't make up a spell like Banish Daedra. And, hold on. And don't make up a spell like Banish Daedra in the Spellmaker. It has to be the standard basic Sir Kenneth spell. Now, because I was the one who summoned this Daedra, I can make sure your job is somewhat easier, but you must follow my instructions exactly. Take this scroll, which contains a spell, to momentarily imprison the Daedra using its true name. Before using it, however, you must be sure to draw blood from your target. It may be backfire with unpredictable results. Once the Daedra is imprisoned, Banished Daedra has a very little chance of failing. The Daedra is in question is over in Bedard Laboratory. I expect you to be back in 26 days. Uh-oh. I do technically have end save, which will, if for some reason, because I can't cast ban the regular Banish Daedra spell. Um, so basically what's going to happen is I'm going to try this mission, see if I can cast my custom-made one, even though it said you, sh you shouldn't. I'm going to try and see if that works, and if it doesn't, then I'm going to just reload the end save. Because, uh... Screw it. Hopefully everything works well. Hey, you. You look like you have a pretty uh, a pretty coin on you. Normally I'd demand your hand it over, but considering how you uh, how you know our location, I can't let you get away. I'll be taking it off your corpse. Well, I mean, I can't have you do that. Who are you? You? Dude, seriously. You're just... No. That was dumb. I mean, that was just dumb on your behalf. Okay. Oh, you got friends. Okay, hold on. Don't kill my horse. I'll, I'll be you know, right angry if you try and 
kill my horse. Okay, I'm not coming. You come over to me. Okay, fine. You want to be that? How about a fireball? How about a fireball? Oh my god, you're tanky. Okay, well, fine. I'll just kill you this way. Okay, come on. There we go. My god, okay. Uh, no. I'll take that. What's this? Steel? No, not really. I'm not interested. Thank you. Okay. Well, we need to get in here and we need to banish this Daedra. So, let's go in here. Ooh, purple. Okay. Um, lab start and it'll overwrite this old save. And now we can do a little bit of resting because I'm hurt and don't even have the ability to cast anything. Now we'll cast Recall and an Anchor Point, and we'll rest again. And now we'll save over map start again, because, you know, we always like to have our, you know, best foot forward when we're doing these things. Okay, I need to find a Daedra in here. Need to... Okay, well, first off, that's up. I thought I saw a door. There is a secret door here. Okay, let's go this way first. And hopefully this is a small little area. Hopeful, I repeat what I'm hoping is this is a small little area. Oh no, it's not a small little area. Hello. Well, you know, I'm going to be honest. I can't have you be doing that. Okay, need to remember there is a gigantic star door in here. But before we do that, let's go this way. Okay, come on. There you go. Goodbye. Uh... Take that, and that, and again, I don't know what those soul traps do at the moment, but uh, we'll take them anyway. Uh, those did not open. Okay, this is going to be, oh, we got a second star door, okay. You got two star doors, let's go all the way back this direction. Yes, I know, but I want to make sure because I always make this mistake, because this seems very familiar to that one cloth amulet quest, where it was kind of this general direction, and I don't want to make that same mistake again. Okay, you're dead. Okay, another star door. Interesting. Okay. And then what's this way? No, I'm looking for a Daedra. I'm not looking for an Atronach. Okay, I was like, I really hope that wasn't what I was needing. Okay. Okay, knock, knock. Nope, nobody's home. Okay. You're not who I want or nor, nor who I actually really need. Uh, I'll take the Holy Dagger. I don't know what a Scarab does, but we'll take it because we've never picked one up before. And is this is a... This is not technically a safety room, but this is a safety room, and we can rest here because we're hurt. Alright, back out this way. And then, I guess, this direction. Again, I like how there's these different effects in each dungeon we're going into. There's, you know, either purple haze or green haze. It does it, it it does add a nice little bit of a variety to uh to the game. I do appreciate that. Okay. Listen, I can't have you, you know, immediately attacking me as I walk through the door. I'm gonna be, you know, honest. Oh, hello. Well, thank you for not killing me. You could have easily done so. I didn't actually want No, you stupid me. I didn't want that. I wanted that and that and literally nothing else. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna rest here. And now we're going to save here at Lab Exploring, because that's now what we're doing. And we've made a significant progress. Uh, interesting. Oh, hello. Okay. Really interesting. Okay. I mean, I could levitate my way up there. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is like a dungeon. 
Uh, I guess we've not been this way, so we can go this way. Oh, oh, that's cute. Hello, rat. Oh my god. Daedric Saber. I mean, it's not going to do anything better than what we got, but we can sell it. And then over here... I, I thought that was a loot pile. It wasn't. It was a campfire. How many rooms in here? Two. We'll go through this door first. And nothing in here? Perfect. You love to see it. Love to see it. Because we know there's nothing over there. Anything over here? Perfect. Just a big bunch of nothing. Okay, this room, this area completely 100% explored. Um, now we need to go this way. 100% explored. And this direction. Interesting. I guess we'll go this way first because it's still on the same technical uh, plane. Oh, hello. Man, this game, this game does, again, I always say, I say this, I feel like every episode, but this game does a really good job of scaring the bejesus out of me. Uh, we'll go down. Oh, hello, you're not a, you're a Daedra, you're not a Daedra, okay. I really hope I know what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm assuming I'll know it when I see it. Okay, now you, you didn't get me like, you know, some of your other friends have done. I, I'm kind of expecting, you know, you guys to be behind doors now when I open them. I'll uh, stay over here. Okay, we gotta go up here to kill you, because you're kind of, like, right up, gonna sneak behind me and, you know, screw me up all kinds of royally. Uh, we can rest, because I don't want to have a fatigue issue. Interesting. Really interesting. Okay. Oh, no, this is a gigantic maze of a place. This, this is not gonna be easy. I, I am... 100% confident now in saying that this is... Oh, no. This is not going to be an easy place to find what I'm looking for in. Get ready for uh, probably what's going to inevitably be... I don't know when exactly it's going to be, but be prepared for a jump cut when I get a point where I feel like you guys no longer wish to see me run around here because, I'm going to be honest, it's probably not the most interesting thing for you guys. Okay, you're not an astronaut. You're an astronaut. You're not a not a Daedra. That's perfectly fine because you're not technically what I need. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. What's in here? Oh no. Okay, let's rest. I'm hurt. Oh, leveled up. Great. Six point. Oh, that's so great. Okay, level fifteen. Awesome. Well, we're putting that into endurance. We're almost at four hundred health, which is great. Uh, we can rest a little bit more till healed, and now we can save the game here at Lab Exploring 2. There we go. Again, I apologize about the last uh, lab, or not the last lab, the last level up not uh, being included in the episode. Again, I don't know what happened, but for some reason my mic stopped recording for about six minutes in the uh, episode before last. And I didn't include it simply because, you know, you didn't want to see the six minutes of, uh, you know footage before, uh, you know, with no commentary. Take the holy water. We'll take that, and this, and this, and then anything over here. I think I hear it. I think I hear it. I think I hear it. I think it's... I hear something this direction. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, I got my I got my little hopes up. It was Iron Atronox instead. Okay, heads on. I still hear something. Okay, oh, it's more of you. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. You're not what I'm looking for. I'm kind of like. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I have no idea where I was going to go with that joke, so I'm just going to... It's better to recognize when you, 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 your joke has fallen flat, because you don't remember it. Okay. We're dropping some stuff. I'm over-encumbered. I, honest, I don't think I need everything. Like, for example, we don't need these arrows. Drop those arrows. 
we don't really need that, and we really don't need that. Anything else like we don't really need? Not really. Do we swing fast? We swing a little bit faster, which I'm okay with now. Do oh wait, I got an open spell, you stupid me. What do you mean spell effect failed? That should have been a 100% chance. Interesting. Hmm, that's really interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to sit here and bash this door open until it opens up. Because it will eventually open up. There we go. Oh. Yay. No, I didn't want the casual cloak. No, I didn't want to equip the casual cloak either. There we go. What's in here? A room with nothing in it. Okay, we're recalling to the start. And we're staying in here and we're dropping off all of this. Just everything. In fact, I th oh, I can't remove that item. Okay, that's fine. Drop all of you off as well. And we'll drop you off. Okay. Let's be smart. Cast Recall on Anchor again so we don't you know, do a stupid thing. And we're going to go back this direction because there are star doors and now I feel I like I want to use them. Okay. Where is the first star door? The first star door is this way. So let's save here at Lab Exploring 3. And we'll walk through it. Great. And there behind it is a area of the map we've not been at all at all been at at all with its own star door. Oh. Goody. Okay. Well, we're gonna do a little bit more exploring here before we go through there. But at least we know that there's a star door. Okay, interesting. We're at a big cavern. I remember seeing a cavern earlier. Now this could be the other side of that cavern we didn't enter. Um, where's it at? No, this can't be it. Yeah, this has to be another whole unique cavern. Oh no. Okay, come on down here and fight me. Or not, I'm not coming up there. Fine, you screw you, buddy. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't want that as first off. Uh anything of like no, not really, nothing of super awesomeness. Um I'm gonna be honest. Probably gonna be making a cut here soon, because we're not really making what I would feel would be uh, decent enough progress for to warrant uh, you guys seeing me run around here being an idiot. So, you know, we'll probably do about five more minutes, and maybe we'll get lucky and find what we're... Okay, hold on. I need to heal. And there's death number six. Man, that drain fatigue thing is... Or that drain stamina thing is brutal, man. That's brutal. I, there's like nothing I really can do, I feel like. Okay, well, I'm going through this again. Well, not again. I'm actually going to a new area because I said, screw it, we're going through here. Does that take me back? No. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Really interesting. I have no idea what I've done, but I've moved a lever somewhere to do something. And where am I now? Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. I just went through so many doors and things, and oh no. Wait, there's literally a door right behind me. Okay. Hey, that did something. What, did it do something in this room? Okay, did it do something back here at the altar room?
No, okay. Um, well, let's quickly go through here, see where this leads us, because before we go the other way. Okay, it's a safety room of no importance whatsoever. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go back this way and through here. And then we're going to go down this direction. And if there's no real progress made, then I'm going to make a cut until we find this, this Daedrith. Because I'm going to be honest, I, I, I could be here an hour and a half. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't want to have to you know subject you guys to, to watching an hour and a half of me being an idiot. So... No, this is not. This is not. A, this is absolutely not dangerous. I was going to say, is this what I needed? That'd be awesome if it was. Okay, come on. That was a barbarian. Okay. That's there are enemies nearby. Unfortunate. Okay, well, let's go in here. There's a star door. Okay. There's also a loot pile. Um, take the flail because it's enchanted, and then we're gonna go in here. Yeah, and we're gonna sneak. I we, I need to probably be sneaking more than I currently am. Uh, nothing else of real importance. We'll take the wabajack. Okay. We can rest. Yes, absolutely. Please do. And let's save the game here at Lab Exploring. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a cut here for you guys. And I will make... I will include if we die or level up, but... I'm not going to subject you guys to us going through this hellscape. So I'll be back when some form of progress is made. This is just a check-in for you guys. I have explored so much of this place, and I have not found anything tangible. It's a nightmare. It is a god-awful nightmare. So, I'll be back. How many days do we have left? We got 22 days. Yeah, it's it's a nightmare. Alright, well, I'll be back. Here we leveled up to level 16 in this god-awful dungeon. I hate uh, this by far and away is the worst quest we've done so far. It's not even measurably close. It's a... this place... This place is a nightmare. I, oh, okay. Oh, and you want to know the worst part about all of this that you guys are, what well, you guys are missing? I forgot when I uh, cleared out my uh, spell book, I didn't put a free action uh, spell in here. So now I'm occasionally getting paralyzed and just having to sit there and hank just multiple hits to the face and pray as we, you know, a minute basically counts down to the uh, ability for me to, you know, actually Oh, until the ability for me to actually go and, you know, do stuff. So this this place is a nightmare. I hate this is the worst. And I honestly, I have, I don't know if I'll be able to complete this quest. We're now at... Tw oh, it's only been a day. Okay, never mind. But still, this this place is a, a truly, truly, truly is a nightmare. I am cannot begin to say how much of a nightmare this place is.
you want to hear a funny story about all that, I'm going to include it because of the fact that uh, it was the quest objective. My mic got muted again. I feel so stupid. Oh, well. Uh, so you guys saw me banish the Daedra. I was recording for... I've been recording an hour and a half. I spent pretty much an hour and a half in that dungeon, lost as lost could be, trying to solve my way out of there. It was a nightmare. I mean, that has been by far and away the worst dungeon we've had yet. It's not even measurably close to the, you know, worst. That, that's the worst, not only for Daggerfall, that this has been the worst dungeon of arena as well. I mean, this has been the worst dungeon ever. I mean, it was god-awful. Uh, it's open at 11, so we need to loiter for about five hours. Oh my god, that was a nightmare. I mean, you're... That would have been two episodes of me just walking around like an idiot. Oh my god. Dude, you won't believe it. It was impossible. Okay. Uh, well done, Vassa. Now I don't have any gold to offer you, but here's a book I particularly enjoyed. Thanks. Okay, well, I... Okay, well, I mean, that's... I don't... Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Don't really feel like I got enough out of that. I'm gonna be 100% honest. Um, wow. A book only. Wow, that's kind of sucks. Um, okay. So we're now done technically with... Not technically. But we're not officially done with the, uh, the Mage's Guild because there's three more quests to do, which is, uh... It did rank me up. I have no idea what that said. Something I want to say. In fact, I can look up what what rank did I just make in the Mage Guild that I just seem to, to to you know willingly just skip by. I believe Warlock. I want to say Warlock, which means I have access to the Daedra Summoner. I don't know what that means in twenty four seven access to Guild Halls. The Daedra Summoner I do know is up here. Perhaps I can help you one day, but you're not yet. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I didn't rank up to there. Maybe I'm only, uh... Maybe I'm only, uh, Enchanter. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, but the only quests we don't, uh, haven't done is Former Student Part 1. Uh, and that will eventually lead to a three-part quest. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3. But somewhere in those, that quest line is something that's going to tick off the Fighter's Guild. Um, so I don't want to do those quite yet. I want to get my Fighter's Guild uh, reputation up a little bit more before I come back and do the, this quest line. And once this quest line is complete, that is the it. That is it for the uh, the Major Guild. There is no more quests. Um, so what I'm going to do is because technically there are some uh, more ranks in here. I'm going to off camera. When I, when I say off camera, I mean not even recording. This is going to be something I'm going to do in between episodes. Is I'm going to come in here and I'm probably going to spam that quest where I had to come over here and like protect this guy while he was like sleeping or getting ready to travel to the Aetherius. And so I'm probably going to spam that to be able to rank up to the highest rank in the guild. And then, uh, yeah, so, but that's not what we're doing right now. Uh, we're going to go to the Fighters Guild and do some stuff with the Fighters Guild. So, yeah. I will be back when we are at the Fighters Guild. All right, so I'm back here at the Fighters Guild, and there are three quests we can do. There's Hunt for a Daedrith, there's Fighters Lich, and there's Domestic Squabble. So let's start with uh, Hunt for a Daedrith. Something's come up. I don't know who else could handle it, but you've asked it. There's this bad critter in Azagroth Web, a Daedrith. Now, I ain't lying. No one knows why it's there, but if everyone everyone wants it gone for 584 gold, you think you can handle it? Absolutely. Hey, all right, your funeral vessel. Listen, knock off that day drink, get back in here in 20 days before your reward. I don't know how long that thing's going to be around, so you're going to want to move your ass and listen to me on this vessel. Get prepared as hell for a fight. All right, well, I'm prepared. I mean, so we're going to where is it? I'm going to As Azar Goth Web. So we're just going to look for the word web, honestly. Uh, w E B. Here we go travel there to take a day great hopefully fingers crossed it is not as bad as old uh mr uh what the, was the last mission we had the the daedra banishment guy oh my god 
please don't be as bad. All right, we're gonna go in ahead and uh, recall, set an anchor point, and then we're gonna save here at uh, web start. I believe there's probably an old save that we can, oh, maybe not. Okay, hopefully everything goes well. Maybe everything will go quickly, who knows. Oh, there's spiders. I did go and was smart enough to get a uh, reaction spell because god that was really unfortunate you guys thankfully didn't have to see it but my god that was a nightmare in the uh, last dungeon having to basically deal the entire thing and still get uh, i'd have to stand for a minute and just let a you know a, a rogue or a mage you know whop me multiple times with their uh their staff until uh that's an interesting door I like interesting doors. Let's go down the interesting door. Uh, see, you didn't get me. See, you're, you weren't quite tall enough to scare me, spider. You gotta be a little bit taller to scare me. Okay, well, so far, and I'm gonna say knock on wood, so far, not super mazy. Oh, and it's a good thing I have free action. All right, you'd love to see it. Okay, there is a door in here, so we're gonna go through this door. If I don't get, you know, ram my face into it first. Okay, we'll go through this door, and this, we'll go knock, knock. Anybody home? No, okay. Okay, what about this direction then? All right. Okay, not, again, so far, not bad. So far, not bad. We're just looking for a Daedrith. We've seen them plenty. We fought them plenty, in fact. There was a ton of Daedrith in the, uh, in the last, uh, dungeon. So this, this, no problem. We just gotta find the stupid thing. Okay, we'll go this way. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Okay. And we'll go this way. And hopefully, when all is said and done, apparently we'll make one gigantic ass loop. Interesting. Where do we loop at? Okay. How did we loop? We went... I... Man, oh man, okay. Well, let's go this way, I guess. We're gonna go back this direction and go this way. I don't know, man. What you gonna do? Go this way, I guess. Man, I am... What you're probably gonna see is a weird, disjointed video, unlike the... the, the types we've never had on this channel which is i'm so frustrated from that last dungeon i might legitimately oh hello wraith um i might legitimately end the recording session for me not the episode for you and i might break this episode the episode you're seeing into two recording sessions for me because i i that hour and a half in that dungeon me being so frustrated has put me in a very 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 sour mood that i don't think uh, people are going to uh, you guys are going to enjoy but maybe you are but as of right now we can go a little while longer because i think maybe i'm making progress maybe oh no i opened my big fat mouth didn't i uh yeah i opened my big fat mouth said oh this one's not as macy as the other one no, no it looks like it's gonna be not maybe not as bad but bad in its own special kind of way okay i'm gonna here's the thing i have been recording for almost two hours at this point really okay i've been recording for almost two hours at this point i'm gonna re record for about another eight minutes and i'll include it here in this episode 
and what Seer has done, and then you'll get a, obviously nothing for you guys, but I'm taking a break after this because I can't do more. It, I will lose my sanity. Hey, here's a door. Okay. Oh no, this is just a gigantic maze. Okay, I guess we're going back this way. Correct? Correct. We gotta go down because all that is is a loop. Okay, here. We've got to go this direction. And this way. We can go this way and this direction. And this is a new area, so let's go this way. Okay, let's first go on ahead and kill the Wraith because we don't want to die. And then let's immediately go in here and rest because I'm hurt. Oh no. Hello, Wraith. Goodbye, Wraith. Save the game here at... Web Exploring? And continue on our way. Uh, there are multiple ways to go, as is tradition. You know, well, first off, we're gonna go here, because this doesn't... Okay. Interesting. Um, is there... There's not a way into... Oh, there is a way into that room, but it looks like it's some other direction. Okay, well, interesting. Well, I can't do anything in there for the time being. But who knows, maybe I'll find my way into that room of spider hell. Speaking of spiders, hello, little guy. Okay, we're looking for a Daedrith. Let's not forget that. Looking for a Daedrith, we know what they look like. We're just... Oh, oh no... Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so that just loops. Okay. Which means we've got to go... Okay. This has reconfirmed to me that we are absolutely... For me, I'm... Oh, I didn't want to anchor. I wanted to teleport. Shit. What's this way? I mean, that's how lost I am. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. This is perfect. Okay, we're going this way. I think I found an area I've not explored. We're going this way, this way. Correct. Correct, Samuel? I believe correct, so we'll go this way first. Okay, we've not been this way. Hello, Wraith. Hello, second Wraith. Take the 96 gold. And nothing else, because I'm going to be honest, nothing else really is worth it. And then... What is... Oh my god, I hate this map so freaking much, man. Okay, not been this direction. And, okay, that direction, okay, oh, for the love of God, this map, okay, this direction, we've not been technically either way, there's, there's branches on each, we've not been down, but we've definitely not been this way, so let's go this way. Well, first off, let's rest, because we're at just a tiniest bit hurt, and I would prefer if, you know, I wasn't. Hello, Wraith. And that loops around into one gigantic maid. Wait, is this that room where the spiders? I mean, it was, but not the room I was thinking of. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go back this direction. This direction. This direction. I'm. Oh no, I'm lost. Okay, no, we gotta go back this direction. And. Which way? I'm trying to find an area I've not been. Which is an area of... Which is a direction I've never been. We've explored all of this. We've explored all of this. Okay. We've explored all of that. I 
I need to get back to the start, unfortunately. That's that's how truly lost I am. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to walk back to the start. And you're going to see a cut. And when that cut happens, you will see a better and more happy Samuel. And everything is going to be rainbows and sunshine and, you know, everything is going to work out, right? All right. I'm, I'm done for today. Okay, I actually stumbled upon him as I was trying to make my way back. I got lost, so... Um, it, before I kill him, it was to kill him, right? If I slay the Daedra... Yeah, okay, so I'm just I'm just killing you, dude, straight up. Goodbye. The Daedra is dead. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, hello, Wraith. Goodbye, Wraith. All right, I will be back once we... Because I... If, Again, I don't have the ability to, to, to anchor myself back to, to there, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. Let's get out of here, for the love of God. No, I didn't want to do that. Let's get out of here. Go back to Gothway Gardens. Go back to the Fighters Guild. We've not been recording long. I think there can probably fit in one more quest for this episode, I'd imagine. I have no idea how long we've been recording because of this nightmare. Two dungeons, man. And I'm in such a bad mood. No other holiday divides the people of Gothway Garden like the third of Hearthfire. A few of the oldest, more superstitious men and women do not speak all day long for fear the evil spirits from the dead will enter their bodies. Most citizens enjoy the holiday, calling it Tales and Tallows, uh, but even the most lighthearted avoid the dark streets of Gothway Garden, for everyone knows the day that the dead do walk tonight. Only the Mage's Guild completely thrives on this day in celebration of the oldest magical science, necromancy. All magic items are half price today. Okay. Um... So, we're going to go to the Fighters Guild, turn this quest in. Then, I'm going to do one thing because I'm actually interested. Because I, uh, I have a friend who's played this game. And they did tell me one thing is that uh, the Daedric uh, Princes are in this game. And the way you kind of do quests, you can do quests for them. But you need to, they're only available on certain days. And it's really interesting on what those days are. I still don't know what those days are. I'm wondering, because of that pop-up, I'm wondering if maybe... If this means that one of those days are just random. And I believe you can do that maybe in the Mages Guild. Maybe. I don't know if I have enough reputation with them to even do that. Because there is that Daedra summoning thing. But uh, I'm going to check that out. Hey dude. Uh, since you didn't even blink at offing a Daedra. Take the map to the penitentiary of Roto Ryan. Uh, plenty of time. Uh, plenty of fun for protector like you. Hey. You're better high off than me Vasip. Daedra killer. I like it. Here's your gold. Great. Fantastic. Did I love, like, no, I didn't rank up. I need to figure out what's going on with the ranks. Again, I might just, my skills might be too low. In fact, you mind uh, training me in, in short blade? Great, thank you, appreciate it. Um, let's rest until fully healed. And then what time is it? It's three in the morning. Okay, well, I gotta rest for, I don't know, like, no, no, no. I gotta rest for like nine hours to get to the major skill being opened and then we got to see if I if that's even a thing I, I again I know the princes are in the game I know that you, the only way you get them is is you know specific days of the year what they are what involves I got no bloody idea whatsoever but we're gonna go quickly see if that's a thing or not might not be whatsoever and if not then we're gonna come back to the fighters guild and we're gonna do another quest uh, Again, for you guys, it's going to be the same episode for me. It's going to be tomorrow because I'm just mood-wise. I, I can't put myself in the mental state to do another another quest. I mean, I was so tilted at that, that last, uh, not the last quest, but the quest before last that I spent an hour and a half in. Hey, dude. Uh, dude, do you do Daedra summoning? I can't offer my assistant. I'm, okay, well... Thanks anyway. Okay, uh, maybe I'm, I don't think I'm high enough rank, and you're not a that person either. Yeah, okay. Oh, well. Maybe it might have been this day, but who knows? I can't do it anyway, so. All right, this is Samuel from uh, the future, not a new day, but a few hours after the last recording. And um, I actually edited the, or started editing the, the video just to get a, a feel of, of how long the video length was, because, again, it was such a disjointed 
uh, episode because of that hour and a half thing that I had no idea how long the episode was. So when I got it done uh, in, in editing, it was 45 minutes. So that's actually long enough for an episode. So we're going to go on ahead and end the episode here, and we're going to read a book. And in the next episode, we're going to be doing stuff in the Fighters Guild and doing quests with the Fighter Guild. So um, before I do the outro, I want to, again, because I've had time to kind of cool off and collect my head and all that, I want to uh, apologize for the kind of like sour mood that episode kind of had. I, I, I apologize. I should not have let myself get like that it, due to that dungeon. But man, it, it, it you know, it, sometimes, it, you know, a, a dungeon gets, gets, gets to you. So what you're going to do... Um, so for those of you that stuck around, I, I, I thank you uh, so much for, for, you know, suffering through me being, you know, uh, uh, you know, a baby or, uh, so, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, I will try not to, uh, to let a, uh, horrible dungeon, uh, negatively impact my mood from here on out. So, um, so I'm going to do the outro and then we're going to read, uh, the, Banker's Bet is our book for the day. So, uh, uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of, uh, the Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. If you haven't already, go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to stay up to date on when videos come live to the channel. Another great way to stay uh, up to date on when videos come live is to follow me on Twitter at the SSH Gaming. I tweet when videos go live. I also pin to my top of the Twitter the upload schedule for the week. I might retweet some other general gaming news. I don't like social media that much, so I won't fill your Twitter, Twitter timeline with general nonsense. Uh, if you like this video, I mean, that's a shock, because I'm going to be honest, I think this has been a quite a poor video but if you like the video or if you like me or you like the series or if you feel kind of sorry for me uh go down hit the thumbs up button on the on the video you guys have no idea how much hitting the thumbs up button helps the channel grow and help us what well, helps the video with the algorithm and everything and i would appreciate it so 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 much um again it, i've said what we're doing in the next episode we're going and doing stuff with the uh the fighters guild so uh yeah so for those that don't want to stick around thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time and for those that do want to stick around and listen to the book we are reading the banker's bet so let's go and mark it not that button i that button uh banker's bet is finished or it's going to be very soon all right how long is this oh it's a little lengthy okay we're fine with a little length the Banker's Bet It was a perfectly ordinary day at the main office of the Bank of Daggerfall. Normal transactions took place, deposits were deposited, withdrawals were withdrawn, house mortgages were collected, letters of credit were golded. When a teller named Clayton J. Wif Wifflington saw the little old lady approaching him, dragging two large sacks, each nearly as large as her, he changed his mind. It was not to be a perfectly ordinary ordinary day at the Bank of Daggerfall, after all. I would like you to take the 30 million gold pieces I have in these sacks and open the account, croaked the little old biddy. Certainly, madam. Wifflington said eagerly. He counted the gold in the sacks and found that it was 30 million gold exactly. One moment, Sonny, the little old lady chirped. Before I open the account, I would like to meet the man I'm trusting it to. I'd like to talk to the president of the bank. Wifflington wanted the president to know that he was, on, he was the teller who had taken the largest single deposit that year, so eagerly sent word to the president's secretary. As it turned out, the president was equally eager to meet such a wealthy woman, so the old lady was brought to his office that very day. Pleased to make your acquaintance, milady, I am Ger Ger Gerander or Gerander P. Bagladen, said the president. Uh, Ger I'm going to go with Gerander. Gerander P. Bagladen. Uh, my name, said the little old lady, is Patuva Smuthworthy. What are these names, man? Okay, it's, Patu <laughs> it's Patuva Smuthworthy. That was, in fact, her real name. Thank you for seeing me. I'd like to conduct my business in a more personal way. I can certainly appreciate that, said Bagladen, chucking, uh, chuckingly. It is an uh, appreciable sum of gold. Would it be rude of me to ask how you came by it? Oh, not at all, said Mrs. Smuthworthy. How came you by it? asked Bagladen. I'll let you guess, replied Miss Smuthworthy with a trace of unattractive girlish flirtation. Backladen was a man of enormous imagination, for a banker. He guessed inheritance and a long-time thrift, but Miss Smuthworthy coyly shook her head. Perhaps she had sold a large old mansion. No. In a moment of chummy, chum, 
chumminess, dear God, I cannot speak today. Uh, Bagladen asked if the gold came as a result of plunder or thievery. Miss Motherworthy took no offense, but said no. Finally, he admitted defeat. I'm a gambler, she said. In arena fights, he asked, interested? No, no, dearie, different things. For example, I'd be willing to wager 25,000 gold pieces that at this time tomorrow morning, your testicles will be covered with feathers. Oh, it's this type of story, okay. Uh, Mrs. Bagladen was something taken, or Mr. Bagladen was somewhat taken aback by the old woman's words. Could she be mad? Could she be a witch? He eliminated the latter possibility, for he had sense uh, for such things. If she were mad, she would still, uh, she was still a rich mad woman, and he could use twenty-five thousand gold pieces. So he took her wager. For the next twenty-four hours, Mrs. Mr. Bagladen obsessed over his testicles. <laughs> over his testicles. He checked his pants so often that afternoon his subordinates feared the worst and suggested that he not touch anything and go home for the rest of the afternoon. He spent the night seated, his pants around his ankles, his beady banker's eyes focused on focused on his scrotum. Are we playing Daggerfall or are we playing a sub-story of Yakuza 0? For anyone that's watching that series, this screams something that would have come from the Yakuza series. Oh my god, okay. If you're not watching it, go watch the Yakuza series because what this story is is what happens in this that game. Uh, every time every time he started to doze off his vision was filled with images of Mrs. of, of Mrs. Smuthworthy plucking feathers plucking feathers from his balls calculating I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this story um, <laughs> Mr. Bagladen arrived at the bank late the next day only moments before Mrs. Smuthworthy arrived accompanying her was a lean speckled fellow. She introduced him as a barrister from the court, her son, it turned out. Young Mr. Smithworthy always accompanied his mother when there was money involved, she explained. Enough banter, she crowded. Our bet, dearie? My dear madam, I can tell you that your gold will be quite safe at the bank of Daggerfall. I hope it will not cause you distress to discover that your gold will be safe here, safer here than in your own hands. My family jewels are quite, shall we say, featherless, and you owe me a sum equally 25,000 gold. Poor Mrs. Smithworthy's face fell f when she heard this. Are you sure? Quite, madam. Not even one feather, her voice suggested doubt. Mr. Bagladen could tell she thought he might be lying. Not one, I fear, madam. It's not that I don't trust you, Mr. Bagladen, but it is quite a lot of gold. Might I? Would you? Could I possibly see for myself? Oh, no. As he knew... As... <laughs> As he knew he was soon to be 25,000 gold pieces richer, and he was still a bit punchy from the lack of sleep, Mr. Bagladen merely smiled and dropped his, dropped his breeches to the floor. Mrs. Smithworthy examined his testicles very carefully under, to the left, to the right. At last she was satisfied that there was not so much as a down feather anywhere in the region. When she was looking under them one last time, Mr. Bagladen heard a thwacking noise across the office. Young Mrs. Smith, Mr. Young Mr. Smithworthy was banging his head against the stone wall. What in the lady's name is wrong with your son, Miss, Mrs. Smithworthy? He added. Nothing, dear, she said. I merely bet him one hundred. I merely bet him one hundred thousand gold pieces that by this time I would have put the president of the Bank of Daggerfall by the balls. That banker's bet favorite story so far in the. Favorite story maybe I've ever read in a video game ever. Oh my god, that was hilarious. <laughs> um, so for those of you that stuck around, oh my god, you guys really lucked out. We feel sorry for the people that didn't stick around, because my god, that was a great story. So uh, as for those that did stick around, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.